Hey everyone, just wanted to announce with the events of D23, we have a really cool sizzle reel from episode 8. While we aren't getting the trailer just yet, and I assume it's to not take attention away from the Spider-Man movie that just launched, we are getting these very cool shots of all the behind the scenes. If you haven't seen the video on the Star Wars Facebook page, or I believe the Star Wars YouTube channel by now, I'll link it below in the description. So we get a few key images here, and I'd like to go over them with you. Finally, for the first time, we have footage of Luke holding his father's lightsaber. This is probably going to be a really emotional part in the film, and I can't wait to see what John Williams has directed for us with his music. We hear Ray tell us that Ryan, the director, has written a story that is unexpected but right. According to numerous sources, Mark Hamill actually changed quite a bit of the script, as there were things he didn't like that Ryan had written, and had them changed to portray the true side of Luke Skywalker. After all, Mark Hamill made Luke who he is today. He embodied the character, and I truly feel that he knows what's going on in Luke's head. There was a small feud between them during shooting where Mark had to enlighten him in detail about where exactly Luke's mental state is at that moment, and after that talk, apparently things went much better. As the sizzle reel goes on, Rey tells us that the story is unexpected, and it's probably alluding to the fact that Luke thinks the Jedi should end. I can imagine this is a scene where Rey wants to learn to become a Jedi, and Luke simply just tells her that they're outdated, and what he's learned through his travels in exile is what the ancient Jedi were all about. The beauty of it is that we get to see Mark Hamill tell us that the team throws stories at him themselves that blows his mind. As we continue, we see this short shot of him and Ryan in this massive cave. It almost looks like the cave from the teaser trailer which showed the ancient book of the Jedi, or the wills for that matter, who knows at this point. Daisy then tells us that even though it's the second in its own trilogy, it feels like its very own thing. This is really good news, since episode 7 felt like a complete buildup of characters. This is purely speculation, but there is a short shot of a spirited looking fox or wolf, and it makes me think, could this be Ahsoka? I don't want to make any rumors, but hey, I'm not throwing any ideas out there. Now something else that caught my eye was the training with Kylo Ren. Notice how there are two men attacking him for choreography. This must mean that we finally see Ren in some crazy action going against multiple enemies. Could it be Luke and Rey against him, or possibly Rey and Finn? Or Benicio Del Toro's character and someone else? If we refer back to Anakin and Obi-Wan sparring, it was just one-on-one, -on -one, so there is something big coming here. My thoughts are that it could be Ren going against those men that he killed in Rey's foreshadowing or flashback vision. Then we see Rey's training as she's defending against three attackers. Possibly this could be about the Knights of Ren foreshadowing scene that we saw in The Force Awakens, or an entirely different battle altogether, as they're carrying staffs. Now right here we see a close-up of Kylo's scar. This will sound wrong and kind of mean, but I was hoping it would be a little more severe than that. Maybe causing his eye to go blind or something more menacing, something more drastic than just a thin line. It seems like they're trying to copy Anakin's scar a little too much. He must have immediately gone into the back to tank and healed or undergone some healing powers from Snoke, maybe from that kyber crystal ring on his finger. I know they're milking it hard and they should just throw the trailer at us already, but I can't help from finding myself even more excited now with all these little teases. I just want the movie to be out already so we can all experience an escape together to that galaxy far, far away. I hope you guys are all as excited as I am, and I can't wait to see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill your destiny.